Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use count distinct function using calculative field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see over here in my table I have a column named as unique count of category and this column is reflecting the distinct count of categories. But if I'll show you my raw data source then you will see that I do not have any column which shows the unique count of the category. So in this video we are going to apply and use the count distinct function as a calculative field in our charts or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when where and how we can apply the count distinct function using calculative field. And before we use this function let's understand about this count distinct function first. So the count distinct is a type of aggregation function in Looker and the count distinct function counts the number of unique item in a particular field. Okay, so in our previous video we have seen this count function right where we have this syntax where we give this count keyword and then we give the numeric field or we give the categorical field. So over here we can give categorical field also. And instead of this count, what we are going to do is that we are going to put count distinct. And this is the syntax of this count distinct function. So we have to give count distinct a keyword and then we have to give the value. And this value is a parameter which is a field or expression that contains the item to be counted. Okay. So as you can see over here that we have unique count of categories. So what we are going to do is that we are going to remove this column from here and then we are going to add this unique count of category field or a new column as a calculative field. So there are two different ways to show unique count or distinct count of a particular categorical field. So the first way to do is that you have to come over here in this setup section within this setup section you have to click on add a metric and then you have to select a field for which you want to find out the unique values or sorry you have to find out the unique count of the values so for us it will be category now if I select category that you will see that we are getting the count of this category and by default looker will always select the count distinct so if I come over here and click on this pencil then you will see that within this aggregation we have this count and count distinct and by default looker will always select count distinct. So this is the first way to get the distinct count of a categorical variable. And the second way of getting the distinct count of a categorical variable is that you use calculative fields. And to use a calculative field what you need to do is that you need to click on add a metric and then you have to go down and click on create a field then looker will ask you a name of the field so i'll give unique count of category and then i have to give the formula so the syntax of this count distinct is you have to simply put the count distinct keyword as soon as you put count you will see that you have count and count distinct. So I'll select count distinct over here. Then within this parenthesis, what I need to do is that I need to give a value. So for me, the value would be category. So as soon as I write cat, you will see that you are seeing this category field over here by the looker intelligence. So you will select this category and you will see that looker will show you that this formula syntax is valid. Now, once I click on apply, and if I click anywhere on this report, you will see that we have a new column over here which shows unique count of category. So both of these two columns shows us the unique count of category once we created it from the metric section where we have taken the count of categorical field which is category and by default looker has shown us the unique count of category over here. And the second way of getting the unique count of a categorical field is that using the calculative field. And both of these two results are same. 
Now, as you have successfully applied and used the count distinct function using calculative field, you might have a question in your mind that how does this count distinct function works. So the count distinct function takes one parameter as you can see over here. I have shown you the syntax that we have count distinct function and we have a parameter one parameter that can either be numeric field or categorical field but most often in our real life we do not use count of a numeric field until unless we are doing some kind of a specific operation right so we take count distinct of categorical field so this count distinct function takes one parameter which can be name of a metric dimension or expression of any type and this count distinct function returns the total number of unique item in that field or expression now if we talk about the limit of this count distinct then you cannot apply this function to a pre aggregated field such as you cannot apply this function with sum or some other aggregated function in looker so this is how basically you create a calculative field with count distinct function in looker or data studio happy learning and see you in the next video